Hello everyone, Resve here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. In today's video, we're gonna start it off by ringing the bell. Let's go and do it. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's go and press triangle here. There we go. Wake up, everybody. <laughs> and she's Traverse Town always in a state of night, I guess so. But anyway, looks like ringing it did rotate that thing by the fountain. Let's go and ring it again. Because Sid said to ring it three times, so... Guess I'll heed his advice and do that. So this will be the last time. Alright. Free rings. And it does look like something's happening. Pretty butterflies. And there's the keyhole. Except for the keyhole and always being in areas with butterflies. <laughs> Guess they just like that sort of stuff. Right, now that it's open, let's go ahead and get down there. Just jump, woo, uh, okay. And just a couple short rolls and we'll be here. All right. Uh-oh, guard armor's back. And he doesn't look any different, <laughs> it's okay. Same strategy applies then. Let's go ahead and attack his hands, I guess. And he does his spin, go ahead and, ah, dang, I failed again. You're supposed to hit that so you can tech it, and then he gets stunned and stuff. But I always end up feeling that. Anyway, he seems to be down. There one that's going for some hits, and alright. Something seems to be happening, though. What's going on? Is he rebuilding himself? He's entering power mode. <laughs> Now, his feet are his hands, and you can see his face. Alright. I don't actually know if this boss has any different name. Let's go ahead and summon Simba, because I do think he'll actually probably come in handy in this fight. Let's do it. Come on, Simba. Out of that uh, little stone of yours. Oh, yeah. And like I said, it does play this animation every time, so... Gotta watch it. Okay, let's see how this does. When not get hit by him. All right. Charge. Boom. Did he do anything? I don't know. Let me try again. Boom. Uh, don't know. Also, yeah, dang. Simba literally only lasts like one or two roars. It's kind of crazy. So, right. I deem that a waste of time. <laughs> Just go ahead and do our air attacks then. Simba's not going to come in handy for a while. All right. Yeah, I do know some of the attacks this boss does, but I don't think there, a lot of them are until later, so... Don't really have much advice for you, to be honest, aside from just, uh, keep attacking him. This does look like a good time to test out Cure. She just works the same way that a potion does, where when you select it, then you can select who you want to use it on. So, yeah. I'm gonna heal myself. Should probably, uh, heal Donald, too, because he's out. Ow! This guy being quite the pain. Keep attacking his body. There you go. Yeah, luckily when you attack enemies like this, you'll tend to get a lot of tech hits because you in terms of their attacks if you keep attacking them. Just keep it up. Huh. Take that. Oh yeah. Getting him. And is where is he? Oh, there he is. What are you doing up there? We're in the middle of a fight. Cannot flee. I mean I guess you can, but I'm not planning on fleeing. Alright, tons of health orbs. Woo! And we Donald's locked out again. <laughs> Do I need to use oh wait. Yeah, here's the attack I was thinking of. He enters like a weird cannon mode and fires uh, those weird orbs at you. Go ahead and pull past them. Ow. Can do it that time. Can do it this time though. Woo. Or D Donald. That's not Donald. Goofy can like shield bash into it. So that's where the size of the shield comes in handy. Because when Goofy's leading the charge, then he'll just, you know, block all the attacks for you. That's pretty neat. We seem to be getting him into this uh, alleyway, which I honestly don't really want to do. Let's try the worm out here. Come on, cannon guy. All right, he's bringing up the cannon again. There we go. He wants to get a point blank shot, but it's not going to work. More attacks. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal Donald and Goofy. And out. It's going to kind of come the expense of my health. I think we're doing pretty all right. Don't know his health or how much he has or anything, but. I feel like we're doing pretty good at keeping him at bay and keeping our health up, which is probably the most important thing. It doesn't really matter how long the fight is as long as we stay alive. There you go. 
both of his hands slash feet are gone. Because <laughs> now his feet are his hands, so what does that make his hands? His feet? I don't know. <laughs> Crazy uh, switcheroo stuff. Okay, he's back shooting these. Woo. You guys can get him. I'll distract him by dodging these. Actually, wait, uh, if I press... Yeah, actually, if you press triangle, then you can, like, sort of get Don and Goofy to attack enemies that you're targeting, as you can see. Press the triangle right now. Get the little X Nation points above them. So, yeah. That's, there is a little bit of control you have over them by doing that. But not too much. It is enough to make my strategy work. So, right, back to attacking. Should probably aim for, yeah, this. And since I got rid of his other one, this one probably doesn't have too much health left. Right, guys. Aim for it. Go. Woo. Goofy's just hanging on that ledge doing nothing. <laughs> right, but I gotta focus on rolling. Because when I spam triangle, then, you know, it is a little harder to press square. Ow. All right, guys. You can do it. Woo. You missed. Don't get me, dude. All right. Back to his neutral stuff. And all right. That, all that's left is his body and his head, I guess. I'm pretty sure attached. Don't gotta worry about it too much. But I'm pretty sure since he got rid of all his other body parts, he is just gonna be doing the cannon now. And they keep getting hit by it. So let's just go in, go in for some hits. All right. And roll. Woo. And there we go. Learn stun impact. I'm actually pretty sure that's a pretty good move. So, be sure to check it out later. But there we go. We beat guard armor for a second time. And hopefully this is the last one. <laughs> Dang, the power of wind. Learn magic spell something, because the game went too fast for me to see it. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's called Arrow. But alright. Been defeated. We can now see seal this keyhole. Oh. <laughs> he makes the lock sound. There you go. Obtain Navi G piece. Another one. Let's go and check out that new magic we got. Let's see, uh, yeah, there it is. Arrow deploys a barrier that absorbs damage. Consumes two MP. So yeah, it's just like how Cure heals you, Arrow can raise your defense. So they're kind of both like, uh, support magic. But yeah. And I'm pretty sure by us learning Arrow, then Donald learns it too. Or just for any magic in that regard. Not too sure about that. But yeah. Wait, what's that new ability we got? Stun Impact. Has a 30% chance of unleashing a finishing combo attack that renders... I can't actually read the rest due to my recording, so... <laughs> But it's pretty good, so be sure to equip it. But yeah, since it says a 30% chance, it doesn't always, uh, you know, work. Or deploy, I guess. Because it's sort of a replacement of the finishing attack in your free hit combo. So yeah. It only works 30% of the time, though, so don't count on it too much, I guess. But there we go. We didn't get any equipment or anything. And I don't think I'm going to be equipping Arrow just yet, either. I'm not really going to be needing it too much this early in the game. But yeah, with guard armor down and the keyhole sealed, we are done with Traverse Town for the second time. So you can go and leave now. I think I'll, uh, how much money do I have? Right, not too much. So you can't really go and buy anything. So, guess I'll just leave now. Doop -a doo Guess I'll head out the proper way, because I didn't last time. All you have to do is just go through this door. It takes you to the world exit. So there we go. There's a tournament being held in the Coliseum. I hear there's a great reward for the winner. Right, so it looks like there actually is something going on in the Coliseum. And uh, since Sid gave us that, uh, was it, warp gummy last video, you can actually just warp to worlds now. You don't have to drive between them anymore. Which is definitely a nice feature. Because I get pretty old after a while. There we go, back at the Coliseum. And let's go to the Coliseum Gates, just the only place you can go to. And now that we're back here, is there anything that we couldn't get before that we can now? There's still that green trinity mark, but we still don't have the ability to use those. It looks like Hercules is just hanging out here. Hey, are you going to compete? It'd be great to face you. 
Well, we'll see if we do. Enter lobby. Hey, Phil. Anything going on? Doesn't really look like it. Ooh. Will not open. <laughs> I guess that's for the winner. So I won't touch it. Go and save, though. Because they'd be the boss. File 10. Got quite a few save files now. But even though we have this many, we're still never going to reach, you know, the maximum. Because it goes on for so long. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it is just 99. But alright. I want to go and enter this tournament. You know the rules, right? Which tournament do you want to enter? Phil Cup. How do you want to go about it? Enter it together. Because why wouldn't you? <laughs> but yeah, once you beat a tournament, there'll actually be new options for you to choose. Which I'll show off a little later. Because of course you gotta beat it first. Alright, let's do it. Let's go ahead and start with Blizzard, just like Donald did. You had the same idea. <laughs> Alright. Boom, I already getting rid of one wow, of these monkeys. <laughs> Boom. Take that. And there you go. It's pretty good to make quick work of these enemies in the tournaments, because there isn't any breaks between these fights, so. Conserving your health does matter quite a bit. Now we got some more magic guys, you can't really uh, use magic on them. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you try to use any magic on the green ones, they'll always just absorb it. So you can't actually damage them with magic. It's gotta be physical attacks. Look, it doesn't really matter too much, because this guy's health are very low, so. Don't really need to use magic anyway. But it would help for these big groups to just beat them all in one blow. No, oh well. They're all gone. Goofy's pretty happy about that. Woohoo! Alright. More monkeys and big feet. Oh no. <laughs> so it looks like it's just the feet from guard armor, only on their own. So watch out, they will stomp around, but we can tech it. There we go, knock them out. Let's go ahead and hit them a little bit. Yeah, I do recommend dealing with the feet first, because they are quite annoying if you don't otherwise. Probably gonna do whatever that was. <laughs> I guess that's the flail attack. Sounds like a little weird when they're just feet though. There we go. Doing pretty good. Ow. I assume he was gonna start walking. No man. Nice job, Donald. Knocked him down. And yep, that should be it for him. Now we just got this monkey. I guess Don Goofy already dealt with the rest of them. And boom, that was actually a stun impact. Did it right there. But it does just like hurt a lot of enemies in your general like vicinity. I'm also pretty sure it stuns them, so it's definitely a pretty good move. In fact, let me try doing ground attacks here to see if I can get one to, you know, happen. Because it doesn't happen in the air, just so you know. And Sora's attacking in the air, which I don't want him to do. Let's try to get the guys on the ground. Of course, they're, I guess, a just a little too high up for Sora to not want to auto-jump. That's a little unfortunate, so I should probably not be so reckless. Let's go and heal. There you go. It's so nice to have the heal magic now, because we can just, you know, it's like, we're now have a little bit of health, just go and cast it, and we'll get our magic back pretty quickly, because, you know, finding enemies restores magic. Alright, got a lot more monkeys, and big body guy, I don't remember his name. <laughs> there you go, shoot some blizzards, and it's going to his back. Uh, one, two, three, gonna do your charge, I'm gonna shoot fire at you, and, uh, there you go. Probably almost dead. Yep. Okay. I just got more power wilds to deal with. There's a lot of monkeys in this fight, or this tournament rather. Kind of weird. I don't know if Phil has an obsession of monkeys or whatever. <laughs> I guess it's just the fact that Tarzan was the newest world, so they put, you know, enemies from the newest world because otherwise they'd be all very weak. Also, I guess there weren't really any enemies specific to Wonderland now I think about it. It was just the big guys. Those are pretty much the only ones you met there. All right, because we got the gauntlets now. So once again, go ahead and uh, deal with them first. Just go ahead and jump up, get them. Oh yeah, uh, they seem to be stuck. <laughs> guess they did an attack of some sort. And they missed. I guess it is a little easier to deal with the hands when there's no body or anything. So you can just hang out in the middle of all their attacks. Because they don't really change the attacks at all. Like it's they still work as if there's a body there. And there we go. Another. Match down. Haven't been keeping track of how many we've done. Right, third seed. I assume it's been counting down, so. We're almost to number one. Right, a lot of healing guys. Go ahead and take care of them first. Chew. There we go. And alright, we got two big guys. Shoot some blizzards. Beam. Beam. 
I think that's good enough. Come and charge at me, dude. Or, okay, Goofy already did it. Kind of thought that was gonna happen. Cause when it's all on Goofy lane SmackDown, then they probably got the text down good. You can do it, guys, or not. <laughs> oh, you got in the way. All right, you ruined it. There we go. Seven points, and they're down. Doing pretty good with this, but, you know. I guess we are pretty uh, experienced with all this fighting stuff. All right, now we got the feet and the hands. I'm gonna go ahead and do the feet first. Over here, guys. I'm gonna stomp around. Well, I'm gonna stop you from stomping. Uh, oh, yeah. There we go. Got our stun impact in. Oh, man. Both of them are doing pretty crazy moves. All right, down again. Go and hit him a little bit. Those guys are doing a tornado attack, which I'm not a fan of. There you go, another stun impact. Sadly, it doesn't seem like it actually stuns the feet. It only stuns normal enemies. Or, you know, non-boss ones, I guess. Because bosses don't seem to ever get stunned by stuff. But, uh oh not doing good. Ooh, All right. Another good thing about Cure is that if you're in a pickle, you can cast it really quickly. Get yourself back in the game. And, all right. Is that everybody? Yeah. Pretty got rid of the other Heartless, whatever they were. Didn't actually really see. But all right, we reached the first seed. I don't actually think this is the last match though. That must be the zero F seed or whatever. All right, we got the body guy. Ooh, just in time. That tornado attack can be quite tricky to deal with, especially get the timing for. All right, it did look like I did another stun impact. And yeah, as you can see, this guy here is stunned. It's pretty cool. Uh oh, get away Sora. Uh, all right, did again. More attacks. Just like that. Oh yeah. Ow. Okay, keep shooting me from all angles though. Or I love them. There we go. Now I'm leveled up. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I think Goofy did too, and he might have learned a new ability. So we should check that when we're done with this tournament. Of course, there's still a lot going on. There we go. Right. So I'm pretty sure this next match is the last one. Or it's just over now. We'll see. No? Looks like we're done. Yeah! Check out my cool keyblade. Attain the power of stars. Learn magic spell gravity. So you got another new magic spell. Never thought you'd do it. Not bad. Phil, you're just as stubborn as ever. Don't pretend you're not happy for them. Him. Now, kid, you still got a long way to go. Next round starting soon. Next time I'll be the real thing. Okay, whatever you say, dude. Can we open this chest yet? No. <laughs> all right, let's go and check out, first of all, what did Goofy get? Tornado. We're after an enemy, using shield to attack. All right, so I guess it's just another uh, ability sort of thing like Rocket is, and charge. But we don't have enough AP for it, so now I have to wait. Let's see, do I have anything for Sora? Let's go and see what that new magic is. Yeah, gravity. R rings a percentage of HP from the target. Effective against enemies with lots of HP. All right. So, yeah, pretty much what gravity does, it's like, it doesn't do like a consistent health on every enemy. Generally, you're gonna wanna use gravity on enemies that have more health or, you know, beefier, I guess. Cause it'll actually do more damage to them. Sadly, since they don't have health bars, I can't really, ex you know, show it off, but yeah. If an enemy has a lot of HP, generally just try to use magic on them. I mean, gravity. I guess I can show off what it does. Go ahead and use it. There we go. Boom. It sort of sends like a big black hole down or something. <laughs> if I go ahead and show off Arrow too. Use on Sora. There we go. Got ourselves a barrier. And like I said, this reduces, uh, you know, the amount of damage attacks do to you. So it is a pretty good thing to use during bosses and stuff. Now that we got the fill tournament done, let's go ahead and save to our file 10 again. And we could either just go ahead and leave now or try to do some of the bonus ones that we can do. Like I said, when you beat a tournament, you can enter again and you can do it as just Sora. Just definitely a lot harder. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and save that for later because, you know, it's pretty easy with Don and Goofy with me. But if I was just doing it alone, I'd have a lot more trouble. 
So I generally wait to, you know, when you level up higher to do those things. But alright. Now we tournament. Let's go and leave. Back to the world and exit. And from here, now we can go and head to our next Disney World. There's actually two ways we can go. We're pull here and here. I'm gonna go to this one first, because it's closer. Let's go and do that. Back in our super crazy ship. <laughs> I think after we beat this next Disney World, I'll go ahead and enter the garage again. We can get quite a few parts at the end of last video that we can mess around with now. Along with the ability to color the blocks, I forgot about that too. We're gonna have quite a few things to do there. For now, just do a pretty standard drive. Shoot some lasers at these weird flat block things. So what are these? Okay, they're armor. We actually, dang, look at our uh, power meter. <laughs> Didn't realize it was so big. Actually, how did it even get so big? Looks suspicious. Maybe it leads to another world. Let's go and see. Woo! It's casually driving in the wormholes, you know. <laughs> Same basic stuff. All right. Looks like the enemies are coming in fast. There's a lot of them. Nothing our new ship can't handle, though. Go ahead and take care of all of them. There you go. Sadly, if we destroy enemies too high up, then we can't actually get the things they drop, so. Be sure not to do that. There we go. Woo! So much stuff. Pretty cool. You guys gonna come up here? I can get your stuff too. Uh, not really high enough. Also, this is a special thing. I don't really know what those even are, so... I don't know if I should really be going after them or not. Woo! Oh yeah. Let's get them. Shoot some lasers. Let's go and grab this one. There we go. Special. So many more enemies to take care of. Just a lot of them. Not use blueprints here. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of blueprints that I've been missing, but they've always been out of reach, so. Couldn't get them even if I wanted to. Now are we done? The next world's in sight? No. Now we're in the next area. The song changed. Yeah. We are in a new area. We're shooting chips down just like that. It's pretty easy, don't you know? We are cruising through space. There's a new world up ahead. I see it. Oh, yeah. Agrabah. Right, let's disembark. It's very yellow. <laughs> Agrabah. From Aladdin. And the keyhole? The Heartless are searching for it now. I'm certain we'll find it soon enough. So that just leaves... <laughs> Jafar, I've looked everywhere for Jasmine. She's disappeared like magic. <laughs> the girl is more trouble than she's worth. You said you had things under control. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. But why worry about Princess Jasmine? With her or without her, surely this world will be ours when we find the keyhole. We need all seven princesses of heart to open the final door. Any fewer is useless. Well, if the princess is that important, we'll find her. Find Jasmine and bring her to me at once. Man, we got some new Heartless to deal with. Don't steep yourself in darkness too long. The Heartless consume the careless. <laughs> Your concern is touching, but hardly necessary. There she is. Hiding from these shady people. But oh man, Ralph Vap got some new Heartless. Obviously they're all Arabian fiends because we are in Agraba now. There we go. Luckily our stun impact took care of those guys. Go and get them. Yeah, this look like they can uh, throw their sword at you, so they do have some ranged attacks that we're gonna have to watch out for. All right, took care of them. Is everybody? Looks like it. 
Here's a chest just sitting here. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Mega potion. All right. Uh, do I have any items in my stock right now? I do. Now that you have room for another one. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, equip a mega potion. Cause dang, we have eight. So <laughs> compared to even our normal potions, it's quite a lot. Let's go and put it there. Might be, might come in handy for when we get into a tough situation. Anyway, can break some of these pots and uh, spoilers, I'm pretty sure some of the pots are actually enemies too. Just gotta watch out for that. And they're just up here. Mega Afer. And okay, you're not a bad pot, just making sure. <laughs> Dang it, I fell. I'm going to jump back up here and jump over here. You know, it doesn't actually really seem to be anything for us. So back down, let's go ahead through here to Main Street. We probably have more Heartless Wayne for us. Yep. Right, let's shoot some blizzards. I don't know if these guys would be weak to that because, you know, would blizzards help them? Because maybe they're hot from the desert heat. I don't know. <laughs> Dang it, I'm getting cornered. Ooh. Shoot some blizzard. Uh, take that. Get ya. Good blocking. Looks like we got some more enemies that do sort of parry things like uh, Riku does. Right, I'm gonna try and shoot fire at him too. Not sure if that'd be good. It's all about figuring out what magic works good on what enemies. Of course, they don't seem to absorb the magic, so that's kind of the main thing that matters because you don't want to be shooting magic at them if they heal from it. Right, some more little guys. Seem to be a lot of them here. And you, which you are once again not an evil pot. I want at least one of them to come alive, though, just so I can show you guys. <laughs> come on, which one are you? There we go. Oh man, creepy pots, spider things. Okay, they're gone. Actually, do those even count as heartless? I don't really know. Because obviously you can't see any sort of heartless things about them. Of course, I guess if I defeat them and they leave a heart behind, then that's how you know. Anyways, climb up here. And you have a chest hanging out on that ledge. Is this a good pot or bad pot? It's bad. Destroy it. Okay. I do want to get that chest. Actually, there's another chest up there. It's a little too high for us to reach, though, unfortunately. Is there anything over there? Aside from those. Uh, well, there is another chest there could get if we can jump over here, but I think that's a little too far away from anywhere we can access right now. So let's go after this. Woo! There we go. What's in here? Mega Afer. Cool. Another one. I mean, gee, how many Mega Afers do we have right now? Uh, five? Alright. So you actually have quite a few of those, too. Maybe I should be equipping this uh, better, well, the better items, because we have so many of them. I don't really know. Hmm. Wait here, let's go ahead and uh, take off a potion, stock it. And I guess I'll go ahead and put a mega potion here. Just so I have two, that'd be pretty good for now. And okay. Actually, I didn't even go in here. It takes us to storage. And it actually, it took me quite a bit to even realize that this was a room you could go into in this game. Cause that's just, the door does just look like, you know, part of the background. Let me lift this up. Over here, so there's a chest hiding behind it. Mega potion, another one. There's also a chest up here. I don't know supposed to get that. Is that what this green shiny mark is for? Probably. It's all right, let's go ahead and save in here. Inside the storage, file 10. And once we get back out, I guess we'll uh, just continue forward. Let's go. See a storage. Not really much to store in there. I mean, I guess just the chest and some barrels, but other than that, it's not much. Anyway, I guess the way forward would be over here. The alley. Anyone in here? <gasps> Who's there? Hello? Looks like Jasmine's here. I'm Jasmine. My father is the Sultan of Agrabah. So, uh, that makes you a princess. But he has been disposed by Jafar, who now controls the city. Jafar? You haven't heard of him? He's the royal visor. He gained evil powers and seized Agrava. He's desperately looking for something. Something he calls the keyhole. Jafar caught me trying to escape, but he helped me. Who helped you? We were hiding nearby, but he left a while ago to take care of something. Now oh, I hope Aladdin's alright. Aladdin? Where might I find this street rat? 
We're being watched. Jasmine, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you see. Jasmine, run! Ah, the boy who holds the key. It's a weird looking key. <laughs> right, he just brought some harlots for us to fight. Nothing we haven't fought before though. Let's get him. Oh yeah, got you cornered. Get this guy too. Shoot some fire because I don't really want to go too deep into that passage. Otherwise I'd leave. But alright. Let's go ahead and climb up here. Or try to. Alright. That box got destroyed. It's fine. Got some little heartless to take care of. Boom. Got him stunned. Now we can just take him as slowly as we want to. There's also a chest here. Which has another mega potion. Another one. Now there's like what? We found free here already? We're probably up to like uh... Eight. Plus these two is ten. Tons of mega potions. Guess I'll just remember to use them. Actually, wait. Can use this. And it opens up a gate somewhere. Just gonna have to go and find that. Is it just the one over here? Because I'm pretty sure there is a gate up here. There's also some little heartless guys. Let's get them. Huh. Take that. And get you to. Huh. Ooh. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Let's go in here. Back to Main Street. Except now we're up here, so. A little higher than we were before. In fact, wasn't this just blocked by uh, crates last time we saw it? I don't know. But anyway, I don't really want to fall down, so. Jump over here. And I guess check to see if any of the other doors are blocked. That one is. Uh, that place is blocked. That's a gate. Let's see. Can we go up here? Looks like it. A land's house. So we can actually visit a land's house. Even though no one's home right now. Did leave something though. Scissors G. Weird. Hey, there's a guy over here. Help him out. Hello, magic carpet. <laughs> there he goes. The carpet flew off toward the nether. Let's follow it, Thora. Alright, but I'm a little busy looking around right now. Also, I find it funny that no one really questions the fact that the carpet's alive. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there was a carpet. Okay. We can shove this. There's another hidden key thing here. A gate opens somewhere. That's very descriptive. <laughs> Guess I have to go look for it. Let's just take us back to the plaza. It's over here. Actually, you haven't been up here before. Yeah, this is the first room we were in. So now we're very high up. So you'll be able to jump across these. Get this guy. Boom. Oh man. Don't knock me in this door or off or anything like that. Get ya. Okay. And the other guy fell down. So now we just gotta jump over there. Let's do it. Huh. There we go. Don't know if the air stall was necessary, but just wanna be safe. All right, that guy fell too. Could you guys please take care of him? Thank you. All right. What's in this chest? A cottage. We've gotten cottages before, right? They're probably just, uh, yeah, we have two. But yeah, all this stuff is just the uh, replenishing items you can use outside of fights. We haven't really needed to do that so far, so. That's why I haven't been, really. Anyway, we can go back Main Street. Do it these guys. And, yeah, we, now we can get the chest that's hanging up here. It's gonna be another kind of long jump, though. So let's do it. Uh, there we go. What's this one have? Dark Matter. That's pretty weird. <laughs> Let's see what the description says about it. Uh, There it is. A rare ore found once in a blue moon. Used for item synthesis. Rarity, five stars. So that's actually the rarest synthesis item we've found so far. So that's kind of neat, I guess. Now the only chest that we haven't got is the one over there. Honestly, don't really know how to reach it right now. We actually probably can't. We'll have to come back to this world later. A certain ability that we'll get. So yeah, I guess that's everything we can do in the Agraba town right now. It's back to the plaza, and let's follow that magic carpet out into the desert. Where to go? There it is. Hello. There's a save point too. Guess we should go and use 
Be sure to use every save point at least once just so you can work back to it later. Of course, I don't know if you have the save to activate them or just stand on them. Never really actually tested that. Anyway, wants us to come along? All aboard. Woo! Into the outskirts of the desert. And there's Aladdin. It's in a bit of a sticky situation. Gotta help him out. Wait. Uh oh. We do got some artists to take care of first. Shoot some blizzards. There we go. Get this guy. Uh. Oh yeah. Tons of destruction. There's nine in there. I'm gonna grab it. Potion. Okay. More of them are coming out of the floor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you gotta do is just take care of them though. As we have been doing with quite a few of the enemies in this game. So. Let's get them. I guess just in this episode in general we've been doing a lot of fighting. That's alright. Getting some levels. Some stats. Some money. All that good stuff. There we go. Should probably help him out now. <laughs> Gosh, again. Genie, get rid of these guys. <laughs> Wish number one to come and ride up. Nice. I see. <laughs> Thanks, Sora. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon... Please, the kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only genie of the lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp and have your dearest wishes granted. Today's winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm in rush. Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. A one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and split. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left. So, Master, what do you have for wish number two? Hmm. How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I hear that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred camels loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal's free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. But she's a princess. And I'm... Ah, she could never fall for a guy like me. Oh, uh, Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. All right. Now we can equip Aladdin to our party. Let's go and put him in place of Donald. There we go. All right. But they, the writers definitely did a pretty good job of replicating Genie's uh, energy in this game, I must say. <laughs> The great outdoors. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers. Itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie, it's a promise. After we help Jasmine. All right. But anyway, back in town, and we're being attacked once again. This time we got a big body heartless. Except now they're also Agrabah themed. Let's go and shoot them with all the magic we got, so I can just replenish it later. That's right. Let's get him in the back. Yeah, it's the same strategy as the other uh, big heartless too. So right, your last guy here. Take care of you, and there we go. All right, let's go hang out in the storage before we get attacked again. Because we're pretty much at time now. So I think I'll go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you all for watching. 
If you liked the video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to be notified for future videos. Also, a special shout out to all my current subscribers and consistent viewers for supporting the channel. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time when we search for Jasmine. Bye!